yeah, this thing is haram. That's just the basics. I think that's why I think, because I'm, I'm really angry, man. I'm a really in a really bad mood, even worse than I normally am, because I'm an angry guy. And I, I've been receiving hate mail, because, you know, it's nice that we have a bunch of Muslims here ready to enjoy ourselves. But the problem is that we Muslims, we don't like to enjoy ourselves. Sometimes we like to stop ourselves from having fun. Like, I always get all these really, really weird, angry messages from people who are offended by my videos on YouTube because I do comedy and laughing is haram. And I know these guys are really angry because when they send me messages, they're in caps lock. Like, what is this? I got, I got this one. Brother! What you are doing is haram. Number one haram. I'm like, geez, I didn't know that there was a chart. <laughs> I just thought there was haram and not so haram. Said, what you are doing is haram. Every day you are make jerk on the Muslim. You better be careful or you will make jerk in the hellfire. <laughs> and I said, dude, surely if I was in hell, I wouldn't be telling any jokes, you know what I mean? I'm no shit, but I know that much, okay? But I'd be making jokes in that fight. Surely if I was in hell, I'd be busy doing other things, like shaking hands with politicians. What would I... I'm just joking, I'd be slapping them. Hopefully I don't. Hopefully I don't do that wrong. Now, when you're in a big audience like this, you have to introduce yourself and personalize yourself to the audience. So I'll share a little bit about myself to you. Um, some of you might already know me, but for those of you who don't, I have to share. Um, my name is Nabil Abdul Rashid, and I do this full time. And uh, most of the time, it's not in front of beautiful, beautiful people like yourselves. We're so um, multicultural. And it poses a problem. The people are like, oh, Nabil, could you shorten your name? We have problems saying your name. Your name is very, not very English, not very cuddly, Nabil Abdul Rashid. It's a bit difficult. How about you change your name to something short, something snappy, something hip like, say, Nibs? <laughs> You know, I, I flatly refuse. I refuse to change my name because my name, Nabil Abdul Rashid, is a beautiful name. From my name, you can tell that during Ramadan I was fasting. From my name, you can tell that I read The Guardian. Um, <laughs> and from my name, you know, Nabil Abdul Rashid, right? You can tell where I'm from. South London. So, <laughs> bang, bang. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I moved out of the hood a long time ago. We're still there. Just, no, um, but yeah. Um, born in North London, but my parents had me moved back to Nigeria to make sure I learned to speak English properly. And, um, <laughs> and for this, I thank them highly because it is, it's quite difficult as, a, as, as someone who's grown Has anyone here grown up in another country? Any other freshies in here? <laughs> yeah, um, no, things, I'm a freshie, right? I grew up back home and, and it's very different there. Like, actually back home, in countries like Ghana, Nigeria, Pakistan, wherever, they're actually ahead in education, right? In formal stuff like math, physics, biology, the, the serious stuff. We don't really have lots of stuff like art and <laughs> all damn thing there. But like, we're ahead in everything else. Like, I, got, I, I was really good at English, right? In English, I got taught English, I, I, taught, I got taught proper English, formal English, good afternoon, good evening, pardon me, hello. Never Wagwan. We never got taught Wagwan. I remember the first time I got asked what was Gwani and to this day I'm still trying to find out what exactly. If anybody knows what's Gwani after the show, do feel free to come and tell me because I still haven't figured it out. I got taught um, titles like Madam, Sir, Lord, Mr, Mrs, Al Haji, but never blood. Uh, that's a title and stuff, but I'll tell you what, what really gets confusing, like maths, right? I love maths. Uh, I, I got an A in mathematics because maths is absolute, right? Two plus two is four, no matter what you do. Two twos are always four. Two times two is four. Two plus two is four. Two raised to the power of two is four. Two twos are always four, except in South London. <laughs> in South London, that's a measurement of time. <laughs> Yo, well, well, you were waiting for me. Why did you leave? Oh, I was there, yeah. Two twos, man got bored in it. So. <laughs> man just had to duck out right by. And the thing is, like, I, I was good at biology. We learned about animals, even animals that were in Nigeria. I, I, I learned about bears. And I learned that a bear was a big furry animal. Not in South London. In South London, bears any number but four. <laughs> I remember my friend got beaten up once. I was like, how many guys were there? Hey, old blood, I seen one. There was bear man there, you know. <laughs> bear man, everybody. And, you know, the thing is, um, when, you, when you've, um, you know, you, you grow up and you, you, you try to do things to become man. And in case I haven't um, mentioned, uh, um, my wife and I just celebrated our anniversary. <laughs> 
At least that's what she told me. I, I forgot the date. But, <laughs> it, I, you know, but it's made me ponder. You know, I'm, I'm not a perfect person. And, you know, marriage is all about compromise. And, you know, I, I know that they, I'm a stubborn person. And I've got a bad temper. I know. But I'm trying to work on that, right? And I, I look back on my experience getting married. And for me, it was particularly difficult because my wife is originally from Pakistan. <laughs> that was not how her father reacted. <laughs> 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 No, you know, I mean, I turned out, you know, I thought they were going to get like music this messy car. No, Carla, come on, my daughter, no, the butt. Nia, Nia, Nia! But no, it, it, it wasn't that bad, right? But, you know, it, it was, I had to get to know the family, and, you know, I, when, when I try, I can't be a nice guy, I can be nice when I try really hard. And I met her brothers, and we were at the table, and she's got like five brothers, and she's the youngest, so you know it was a task, right? Random. <laughs> You know what I'm talking about. And I turned up and the brother's like, Sir, tell us, bro, you're quite young. Why do you want to get married so young? And I said, um, because I'm really crap at washing plates. And uh, <laughs> the joke, you know what's really crazy? That he thought I was joking. And, uh, <laughs> and you know, they, you know they, I made them laugh. And we got on after that. And since then, you know, I, you know, her brothers come to my shows. They're on my Twitter. It's a really, really lovely family unit. But sometimes, you know, you have disagreements. Like before we get married, we're planning the wedding. Now I wanted a simply Quran and Sunnah wedding, right? I didn't want, you know, how you Asians have your mendi and your parat and your this and your that. You need an entourage and like get all your men to come in, and spend it. You know, and I didn't, I didn't want none of that. I didn't, you know, no disrespect to Hindus, but that a lot of that stuff. <laughs> Is from Hinduism, right? The red dress, berle, berle. but you know, I didn't, I didn't want, I didn't want any of that. And I told my wife, look, we're not having a traditional Pakistani wedding. We cannot have a traditional Pakistani wedding. And my wife was like, well, why not? I said, well, for starters, we're not cousins. And <laughs> yeah, what I said it. What? <laughs> yeah, I, <don't> <laughs> I said I was going to offend someone. <laughs> and we like each other. So we can't have a traditional Pakistani wedding. But, in the end, you know men, uh, in, in marriage there's something called, in fact not just in marriage, what you do with women, this is something I've learned the hard way, you have to compromise, right? So I did, and we had a traditional Nigerian and Pakistani wedding. Yeah, it was something, I'll tell you that. Um, it was beautiful, you know. Um, we followed both cultures, so the wedding started uh, two hours late. Uh, our guest showed up one hour later. Uh, and the dancer was beautiful, you know, Chakra for day. And you know, we had all that going on. We had the, we had the Africans doing the Bangra, Asians trying to do the whole. But they couldn't get it right, they couldn't get it right. But they tried, bless them. You know, my, my auntie was like, oh my god, oh, this is fantastic. Oh. I love this Jalfrezi rice, it's not Jalfrezi, it's Jalo. That's what I said, Jalfrezi is fantastic, I love it. You know, but it gets frustrating, because like when we walk down the street together, I get like Asian men predominantly staring at me and looking at me angrily. And it offends me, because you know, like, I'm, I'm an aggressive guy and I'm trying to work on it, but sometimes I just want to walk up to the guy, get the guy's and go, Kya <laughs> Bate? But then I realized I've been watching too much Maulai charts and you know, I just... Nuri <laughs> not uh, So, you know, and uh, it, it, it's beautiful, but you know, being married has its perks, so I've had to take my career a lot more seriously. And, and as a result, we get a lot of experiences. And one of the things I like to do with my comedy is I like to analyze real problems, right? It can be funny, talk about real problems. And I think one of the problems the Muslim community has is that we argue too much, especially online. Like, I bet I probably argue with half of you online, I bet. Um, <laughs> And if I have it, give it time. <laughs> we'll meet on a status. But one thing I think, Muslims spend too much time arguing about things that don't matter. So I'll give you an example. Facebook. Haram or halal? <laughs> this one guy I know came out and said that Facebook is haram. On Facebook. <laughs> Three people liked it. Did it? <laughs> Chef, like everybody studied under Sheikh Google. All right, I know brother, no brother, no brother, no brother, no brother, no brother, yeah, 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 because yeah. you don't know what you're talking about unless you say yeah, for no reason, right? Hey, brother, yeah, Facebook is macro. 
I forgot to mention what channel I wanted to be on. <laughs> so God answered my prayers and I ended up on a channel called Channel AKA. <laughs> Which for those who don't know is a channel that shows rap music 24 hours a day, right? So I began to recognize, but not by people who want to recognize you. <laughs> I'm walking down the street in Brixton and we're here. Hey, you open up! But they can't say a word properly in English. Like when you watch football, the French player misses a goal. Why did you? <laughs> well, I don't know. The problem is that the high was falling on the players, and uh, oh, I don't know how to say this word in English, but I will try. The problem is the coaches. Oh, pourquoi, mon Dieu, pourquoi? The coaches. Dish the sacre bleu, vive la France. Now, um, I wanted to. Can I do one more go, or am I over time? Is it okay? Do you mind if I just do one more go? 
Okay, now um, that last joke wasn't racist, but this next one is. Um, the good thing about doing comedy is that I can be as racist as I like and people think I'm joking. So, basically, a long time ago, a friend of mine and I prank called the BMP. We tried to join. <laughs> we were not very successful. <laughs> Probably because I pretended to be Pakistani. Like, hello? 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 Diga? Hello? Kiara? Kiara? Hello? To see Haram said, hello? And I want to join BNB. Hello? Yeah, yeah, I want to join the BNB British Nationalist Bank. <laughs> and the guy hung up on me, right? So we put the video on YouTube and we get racist comments on the video every single day because it went viral. Loads of people leave comments. A lot of them are actual BNP members. And some of these comments are actually very disgusting and racist. But my favorite one, like a lot of them are supportive, but my favorite one is the most racist, most disgusting comment on the video. And it goes like this, and I quote, Watch out, you nignock! <laughs> I love that word, nignock, golly, won't give it all the ball. But, so watch out, you nignock! You're gonna be on the first boat back to Africa! Because apparently there's a boat that just goes there, right? <laughs> it doesn't even go to any country in Africa, it just parks outside Africa, we move our own. <laughs> but you know what, that didn't offend me because the person that you know, wrote that was ignorant and you should never let an ignorant person defend you. Never ever. Never ever be offended by an ignorant person. Be offended by educated people. And educate people who perpetuate racism. Like um, a while ago we had the riots in London, I promise the last one, we had a, a riot in London and a, a historian got on TV and said that the reason we had these riots is because <coughs> white people are turning black. <laughs> now, before I say this, I want to just say I'm not racist at all. I've got loads of white friends. <laughs> and in fact, during the winter, I play in the snow. I've got no problem with white people. <laughs> but in a way, that guy had a point because white people are kind of turning black. Because a lot of things you see in white culture originally came from black culture, but they borrow it and they make it theirs, and that's fine. I'll give you an example. Black people invented rock and roll. Yeah. White people gave us Elvis Presley. <laughs> Not too bad. Black people invented um, rap music. White people gave us Eminem. They tried the thing with Vanilla Ice. It didn't work. <laughs> but it kept going, and that's what's important. But what it's like going too far was that black people, we invented voodoo. They gave us Harry Potter. Now, I'm sorry. <laughs> and if that wasn't enough, right? We gave them Michael Jackson. They gave us back Wacko Jacko. Now, I'm sorry about it. <laughs> we learned from them, though, in the end, because... Um, they gave us Pirates of the Caribbean. We gave them Somalia. You guys are the greatest.